Hey, YouTube Brando here. So today I want to show another kit that we just built. Uh, this is going to be my mini pocket survival kit, whatever you want to call it. Now originally I wanted to try to make an Altoids 10 survival kit, but um, after messing around with the Altoids 10 just a little bit, I realized it wasn't really practical. Um, anything that I could have came up with it would have been more of a novelty than anything. And I wanted to stuff this thing full of things that I actually use every day. Um, now the reason I built this is because I have been carrying the Bear Grylls survival kit in my EDC pack. Uh, or my wife likes to call it my man purse. Really it's just a laptop pack. Um, I keep a bag in it. I keep my uh, tablet in there and uh, sometimes my notebook so really it's a computer case for me uh, but uh, I do have a little survival kit in there and I wanted to redo it with things that I actually use uh, so it's going to be more of a practical use kit uh, so there's going to be a lot of cordage and things like that things that I go through quite a bit of in here so let's just pop it open and see what it is I did put a little bit of notebook paper in here, not a lot. Uh, I usually don't make a lot of notes, and when I do, I have a small, uh, a uh, small notepad that I keep in my pocket with me that I EDC, so I don't necessarily need it, but I threw it in there because there was room and it's lightweight. Uh, then I have my pencil here, and it's got some uh, duct tape around it, so I can make my notes, and if I need some tape, I have tape. I use a lot of tape, believe it or not. Uh, now this is just more or less my cordage compartment. I do keep some 22s in here, uh, just because they're a lot lighter than the nine millimeters I carry, uh, and I could I could fit more in here. And I usually always have a 22 nearby, if not on me. Um, the little NAA pocket revolver. I don't always have the extra cylinder for 22 long because I carry 22 mag in it. Uh, so I may take those out and throw, you know, try to fit a few 22 mag in here just in case. Uh, but the reason I threw 22 in here is because my survival rifle is a 22. I have a truck gun that's a 22. Um, so I just, you know, we have 22s everywhere and it was just easier to fit all that in here. Here I have a, just a couple feet of bank line. It's probably about, I don't know, two and a half feet. Some greased bank line. Uh, I have a few zip ties in here. So I keep a few zip ties, uh, some paracord, you can see it's used paracord, I do use my paracord and then I'll cut the knot out when I'm done with it and reuse it. Uh, and then I have just a couple of hair ties in here for the wife and uh, I have long hair as well so I use them just not often. So this is going to be like my little medical kit right here slash whatever else I could fit in there. Uh, I do have a couple of alcohol pads, good for fire starter if nothing else, but uh, I clean up, you know, if I'm going to bandage a wound, I'm going to clean it first. And I know you're not necessarily supposed to use alcohol on it, but I do. It's better than nothing at all. Uh, one thing I would like to throw in here is a small thing of uh, Neosporin, just the little packets they sell. Here, I have some gauze. And no, it's no longer sterile because I took it out of the original pack and uh, kind of scrunched it down and put it into these little tubes. Uh, this is a uh, uh, bandage, uh, wound bandage, uh, no stick wound bandage, so you don't want to put gauze directly on something that's bleeding. So uh, I have a little bandage there. Some more little band aids for the kids. Let's see. This is my water purification kit. Uh, it's really tiny. It's enough to do four quarts, uh, two water purification tablets per quart. Then I have a sandwich baggie in here that I could actually, you know, put the water in to treat it. And then I have a coffee filter in here as well. That's the white thing that everything's wrapped up in is the coffee filter. Uh, so I could, uh, you know, pre filter bigger things out larger particles will come out with that so usually I carry a rubber glove around it but I didn't have one so uh, I just threw a little sandwich bag here around it a little cheap one 
We got the little Gerber mini multi-tool, just like the Gerber Dime. This is the Bear Grylls version. Uh, not very good. Uh, they work, but they're not uh, not very durable. If you look on uh, Texas Blades, I have a fell on this, and it, it shows it that uh, shows where I f where it fell at. So. Not a heavy duty multi tool, but uh, you know, I could use it if I need to. Uh, I took the little flashlight and this out of the Bear Girls kit uh, and put it in here. And then I have enough batteries to fill at one time. Uh, in here, underneath this, I have a little, uh, it's a little mirror. You use it for signaling. I, it was just flat, so I threw it in there. Again, I, I'll probably never use something like that. Uh, but I had room in the kit, so I figured why not just throw it in there. It doesn't doesn't add any weight to it, and you know, here I have some medical tape to use with the uh, bandages and gauze. Then this back here, this is my fire kit, um, and I didn't I didn't have room for like a fire still or anything like that, so I just went with matches. Um, this case is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. If it got submerged, it would. Uh, probably fill with water so I do have some wax matches in here waterproof Coglins matches I have a few of those some jute twine Coglins fire stick there's some little shards of fat wood and then a piece of cotton cotton works great a uh, striker and you can see the striker has been used. And then just an assortment of matches. Uh, we have Strike Anywhere matches, quite a few of those. And then we have uh, some cheaper Stormproof matches, the uh, cheap ones they sell. I do have UCOs, but they're a little bit long to fit in here. Uh, these are supposed to be windproof. They really are. Uh, they say Stormproof, but they're not waterproof. You can get them wet and light them if you dry them off, but... Um, they don't, uh, you can't dunk them underwater and take them out and they're still lit like the UCO stormproof matches. So I call them the cheaper stormproof matches. Uh, I think they sell for like 99 cents a box at 25 or something like that. Uh, the most I've ever seen them was like two bucks, 249, something, somewhere in there. So, um, we're going to add some more stuff to this kit. So we may update it eventually, but this kit's just going to be thrown in my pack. Uh, you know, if I need a match, I have matches. If, you know, whatever I need's in there, stuff like this will more than likely never be used um, but again if I need it and, and don't have it uh, you know that's not a good situation so I'd rather have it and not need it so we're gonna throw as much more in here as we can without actually weighing it down and like I said I'm probably gonna switch out some of that ammo uh, and throw some 22 mag in here I'm pretty sure I can fit them in there pretty easy in this front compartment with the cordage so uh, I did want a lot of cordage though uh, I use cordage like crazy you know, replacing the tabs on your pack or whatever. So, plenty of cordage. Uh, I'll probably throw, I have some 325 paracord that I'm going to replace that with because it's a little bit smaller and then I can fit more of it in here. I don't necessarily need a 550 pound cordage in there. Uh, so, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, YouTube.